Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode we had Princess Amira age up into a teenager and we got to change at her outfits and, and just kind of play around with her accessories and change her hairstyle and stuff so that made me super super excited. In this episode it is going to be Princess May and Prince Johan's birthday. I'm debating if I want to have also the triplets of Willow Creek age up that would be a lot because they're really not far behind them so yeah so we're gonna do that in this episode but before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post a new video don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button if you like this video as well and let's go ahead and begin the royal family so a few days have gone by since the last episode since Princess Amira was or grew up into a teenager. I actually got to change her outfits a bit too. So you guys can, oh, that's not the button I wanted to pick. So you guys can kind of see what we picked. You guys did see this one. So this was the everyday outfit that we picked for her. I had to pick a different accessory though because the diamond necklace that was showing up in Create a Sim, it was like a, just a black line, but like in the shape of the necklace when I when she like was in the world. So I thought it was kind of weird but uh you guys also did get to see her form you guys saw her formal outfit and then you guys i don't think you saw her party outfit so this is one of the party outfits that i chose and then we also have this party outfit so you guys can just see i want to just get this before she changes so i have the tiara i have this really cool messy bun which i thought was interesting probably not the best for a princess but i just i mean she's a teenager so i just kind of wanted to keep it still like young looking and then this is her other party outfit so i did like a short dress and a long dress so this is the party outfit and i love this bun guys it's super cute and it goes perfectly with the tiara and then this is the dress that i love it's just that the hands clip on the side of the dress which kind of sinks but it's still really cute but guys she honestly her face is like the spitting image of queen alice's and i i wonder if you can like i don't know this this picture didn't really look like her so i don't i don't know if that's a good picture to compare it to let me see the one in their bedroom did that one kind of look like her kind of i think you guys can kind of see but yeah her facial features look exactly like her mother's did so i'm really excited to see what princess may is going to look like when she ages up into a teenager um so someone is offering princess anna a new job but we don't want to take it um but i also changed the outfits of lady ezra so this is Princess Anna and I've changed Sir Marshall to Lord Marshall now because I'm trying to change all of the males to Lord instead of Sir because Sirs are supposed to be knights, which I realized after a viewer mentioned something. So um, right now she's in her, I think this is her hot weather outfit. So I'm going to change her outfit. I just, I mean like kind of basic stuff. They like don't really stick to the royal family colors because they're not technically the, like the immediate royal family I guess um, uh, but I also have her last name as Windenburg because because I, I just want to show you guys this real quick so I'm debating having because I'm trying to like get some of the other nobles to marry each other too so we have uh, Sir Matthew Windenburg here who is actually Princess Anna Queen Cora and King Henry's cousin. So he's supposed to take over the title of the Marquis uh, uh, in Windenburg, but I was kind of thinking maybe what if he married, this is Lady Valentina, who's supposed to be the Baron of Willow Creek, but she's supposed to be like, she's supposed to take the title. So I was thinking if he married her, he would need to move in. I mean, he wouldn't have to, they would have to choose, but like he could move in here. But like if they, if if Lady Valentina and that if they moved to Windenburg, then Lady Ava, her sister, could just take over the title. But I was kind of thinking if they moved in here, then maybe Princess Anna and Sir Marshall could become the Marquis of Windenburg. I know that's like not really how things work, but like it would work. I feel like because uh, the current uh, Marquis Eliza is actually Princess Anna's aunt. So uh, that's just, that was a thought. You guys can let me know what you think. I'm, I'm thinking that they're probably going to live in the Windenburg Palace a bit, but I was just thinking because like Princess Anna is an actress at the moment. And I think that because she's had her baby now and she got married, I think she wants to focus on her family and sort of start settling down a little bit. So I was kind of thinking that maybe they could move back into the Windenburg world. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I'll probably wait. I I mean, like I have I haven't even posted the next two episodes yet, and this is like 
the other episode. So I'm kind of ahead on schedule for sh- for filming things, but not really for posting things. So I um, I will probably wait until I see your guys's comments for for that for your opinion. So I also kind of started putting Princess Anna's hair up into a bun just because she is older now. She had like the wavy down hair before. So just because she's older, I was thinking of just making her look a little bit more mature. So that was just one thing that I did. I kind of want to get a portrait done of her too. Maybe I will have have uh, King Henry take a picture of her just because just because I want a few more pictures oh maybe I'll have one take uh, I'll have him take one of Princess Amira too but I do need to get a portrait done of Princess Amira also maybe I'll change the back no I feel like this backdrop is fine yeah that's okay okay so as soon as Princess Henry does that I want him to uh, plan the birthday party because it's starting to get into the evening time so we're gonna have the birthday party because he should know I hope he knows Prince Johan so I want him to have the birthday party for both Prince Johan and Princess May. So, oh gosh, no, I don't like that pose though. No, okay, I'll have to take a picture of Princess Anna later. <laughs> I don't want her portrait to be like that. I don't know why, I just don't like it very much. But that's, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, the kids are doing okay. I don't know, oh, I was like, why is Princess Anna in her party outfit? Because we made her into her party outfit. That would be why. Um, although she's gonna have to change into her party outfit again in a bit. I'm thinking of actually having the birthday party also at the Grand Hotel of Windenburg again. And I know we did that for Princess Amira's birthday, but it's just so easy to do it there because then the the cake's already made. Oh no, we can't, oh shoot. Well, we'll just have to, it won't be an official birthday party for Prince Johan, but I think we're just gonna have to age him up at the birthday party. If we can invite him though. If not, I can just, um, I can start a, a kids club gathering at the restaurant. Oh, okay, he, wait, no, he's on the guest list. Never mind. Okay, cool. So Princess Amira, King Jared, Lord Franklin, Prince Michael, Queen Lindsay, King Adrian, Princess Belle, Prince Louis, and Prince, oh no, I ran out of space. Oh, okay, I'm gonna uninvite uh, Lord Franklin and then invite Prince Jack. Oh, wait, no, but Princess Cora can't come. Wait, what? seriously, that's not, is that really 15? Um, I might not have Lady Ezra go just because she's a toddler and we'll have no idea what's going on. And then maybe, I, maybe I'll just like have the kids club gathering at the restaurant so we don't have to worry about inviting all of them. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, but I think that's, that should be good. Yeah, I think that's good. And then, uh, the caterer we don't need because it's going to be at a restaurant. I'll have a mixologist because I think there's a bar. I don't remember actually going to the bar the last time we were there. I know, oh, I don't know though. You guys have seen this, uh, this venue so many times. I don't know if you're tired of it. Maybe we will do a different place because, wait, this is a restaurant? St. Windenburg Cathedral. Did I make that into a restaurant or something? The Windenburg restaurant. Oh, and then Castle Dining, I know you guys have seen. The Brindleton Yacht Club. Oh, wait. Oh, this is like a little cozy restaurant though. Maybe we'll go to Castle Dining because you guys have already seen the Windenburg Grand Hotel in the past like two episodes. So we won't go there again. So let's let's just go to Castle Dining. I know you guys have seen this. We went to the Castle Dining restaurant like a while ago though, like very early on in the episodes. Cause I think that's where some of the the kings and queens where they propose to their significant other. Um, but that was, that was a long time ago. So if you're new to watching this series and haven't seen some of the earlier episodes, then you probably have never seen this venue. So this might be perfect. Okay. So why did everyone just bring out their umbrellas? It's not raining is it oh never mind that i spoke too soon okay um so it is raining i guess everyone's wearing the black umbrellas i didn't get to choose any of their their nice umbrellas and then someone is calling king henry hey i heard you became friends with prince johan all right that's fine um okay so why don't we i'm gonna invite all of the kids to come here do we want to age i don't want to age up the triplets like on the same day i think I think I think if if we last until like the next day until Monday maybe I'll have the triplets age up the uh, the next day just cuz I they're not all the same age so I don't want them to like have their birthdays all line up even though we are aging them up like a little bit earlier than we should are we though but it's like not by that much by like by like two days, not that much. I don't think it's it's that big of a deal, but it's fine. Um, so why don't we go ahead and have? I, I want to make sure we like know all the kids. Princess May is super close to Prince Michael. Also, guys, I was saying that the kids. So 
I, I've mentioned before in the previous episodes how Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay, let me just pull up their picture so you guys just kind of know who we're talking about. Um, so Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay, he's the heir to the throne um, of Brindleton Bay. And so his father, King Jared, promised their grandfather, the royal family of Windenburg, uh, Princess May and Princess Amira and Prince Callan's grandfather, that that they that his heir to the throne would marry one of King George's, which is their grandfather's grandchildren, which is one of them. The, I'm sorry, that was so confusing and probably not the best way to explain it, but uh, I'm trying to think of it as the way who people don't really know who is who. Um, so it would probably be best if I brought out the, oh yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do this with the family tree. So this might be easier. Oh wait, Princess, oh wait, I missed that. Oh shoot, I saw uh, Queen Alice was calling. Um, but okay, so this is King George. So King George, he has his kids, of course, and then he, we have his cousin, which was, uh, ooh, his cousin, yeah, okay, King Jared. So King George helped King Jared find Brindleton Bay and try to get, try to get him to marry Queen Nina because because King Jared's parents didn't approve because. Queen Nina didn't come from a very wealthy family. So King George helped him discover Brindleton Bay and make their own kingdom so he could still have like the money and, and the wealth and the power and all that stuff. Um, but in return, he made him promise to have his heir to the throne, which is Prince Johan, marry one of, oh, nope, not the right king. Uh, now I'm lost. Um, marry one, uh, there we go. Marry one of King George's grandkids. So I was like, oh, okay, well, Princess Amira or Princess May, because that's, who they should marry. But then I realized, no, it could also be Princess Belle. Princess Belle is another option. I mean, technically it'd also be Lady Ezra, but like, I think Lady Ezra, the age gap is way too different. So I don't think we're gonna go with that. But yeah, so I don't know yet who's going to marry. I think King Henry is like all for his daughter marrying, marrying uh, uh, Prince Johan. Um, but then I, I also don't know who princess Belle should marry so i don't know i'm kind of at a loss guys you guys can let me know if you're team amira team bell or or team may um so yeah let me know what you guys think about that but yeah that was just i just wanted to explain that to you guys so you guys had an idea of what's going on what is happening what is happening what just what Oh, is she a vampire or something? Okay, I was just like, I swear if that's the Grim Reaper. Also, guys, because we've had so many deaths in the winter time, I don't even think I'm going to hold another party in the winter because I'm terrified because so many people have died from parties in the winter time and it scares me, so I don't want to do that anymore. Um, but I want to make sure like we get to uh, talk to all of our guests and stuff. So gotta make sure all the kids know who is who. It doesn't look like we can talk to Queen Lindsay though, because her uh, fame is too high, but that's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna have Sir, or King, oh, not King, Lord Marshall. I'm gonna have to get used to that now. Lord Marshall, he kind of like doesn't have very high of a celebrity level, so it's kind of harder for him to interact with people. But Lord Marshall is super, super close to Prince Kellen, they've gotten like a really good relationship. So I think it's nice that Prince Kellen has that with his uncle. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like way, a lot of romance just going on in the lobby of this restaurant. Um, but we should probably blow out the candles or get a cake. So why don't we just take this table? I'll we'll have Princess, oh no, wait, no, 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 no. I want, oh my gosh, that hostess looks so scary. I bet he's a vampire or something. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, no, what? That's the guys, this is terrifying. Why is he allowed to work at this restaurant? That is not okay. But she's gonna request this table and then I'll ha we'll have them bring out a cake and then we'll have both Princess May. Oh, Queen Alice, hey, I heard you became friends with Prince James, he's pretty cool. But their mom, like ghost, uh, the ghost version of Queen Alice has been calling a lot, which makes me really happy. I, I just like that she's like calling them a lot and talking to them. Also, oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I forgot. I guess they wear their, do they wear their formal outfits here or something? I think this is their party outfits, but I don't remember making this Princess Megan's party outfit. I thought this was her formal outfit, but I'm still so obsessed with that dress. I actually haven't seen it actually on them outside of Create a Sim, but it looks really nice. It looks really pretty. I think, oh yeah, also Prince Kellen, he, him and Prince, oh my God. They're like best friends, guys. <gasps> Do we think she's a possible marriage candidate for him then? 
Oh, that's awesome. They're like best friends. Aww. Okay, and then we have Princess Naya too. Um, so she's wearing her gorgeous, gorgeous dress. But I'm going to have them bring out the cake. So bring out a cake. Let's make it a chocolate cake. Because I think we had a, a strawberry cake last time. Um, also, I don't know why Princess May's not wearing her crown. I thought I put a crown on her, but I guess not. But that's okay. So, yeah, when she changes into a teenager, I will at least get to, like, play around with her outfits and stuff, too. So I'm excited to do that. I know Princess May, she's supposed to be more of a tomboy, but I'm kind of losing that side of her. She's definitely a little bit more casual and laid back. So I guess we'll just see, but um, why don't we actually age, I, cause I think Prince Johan's actually older, so I'm gonna age him up first. If I can find him on here, there's a lot of people we have the power to age up. Uh, let's go with Prince Johan, there we go, okay. So we can age up Prince Johan first. Princess May really isn't close to him at all. I think Princess Amira is much more closer to Prince Johan, but I think that, I don't know how close Princess Belle is to Prince Johan. But he is aging up right now. Oh gosh, guys, I'm actually excited for all the kids to age up. The next few episodes are gonna be like a lot of aging up going on. Oh my gosh, though, no, I need to change his outfit, stop, what? Oh my gosh, I need to change his outfit. I know. It's the hair, I don't like the hair. That's not, definitely not for a prince. He's like, I mean, minus the hair, he's, he's very good looking, he's adorable actually. So yeah, that's Prince Johan. And then we're going to age up Princess May. And then yeah, I think the twins are next, or the triplets are next in line to age up. And then I think Prince Kellen is after them. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of aging up going on guys, but that's fine. I'm excited for them all to turn into teenagers. Um, okay, so Princess May is going to blow out the candles. And she's going to age up into a teenager, guys. I, oh, for a second, my screen looked really blurry and I wasn't sure what happened, but no, I think we're good. Okay, so Princess May has aged up, teenage dumb. Um, and then we need to pick an aspiration for her. Oh, I don't actually know. I have her, she loves the out outdoors. Ooh, uh, um, her, so her sister is wants to be the leader of the pack. That was her thing. I think Princess May, I'm pretty sure she's like musically talented or something like that, but if she loves the outdoors and loves, uh, maybe she's just super adventurous. So nature, what? Okay, we got a lot of stuff we could do. Jungle explorer, the curator, she wants to collect stuff. The outdoor enthusiast, why don't we do that? If she loves the outdoors that much, maybe we should do that. So then that makes her also a collector. So she likes finding rare things. I haven't actually had any royal sim be like super into the outdoors. So I think that's kind of cool that we're doing this. Um, but, and then another aspiration we could pick, she's already musically talented. So maybe we'll just make her a music lover. So music lover, but she also loves the outdoors. So she's very versatile guys. Um, but yeah, I need to change her outfit because no, I'm not, a, I'm not okay with this. Um, so let's go ahead and change her outfit then. I don't think we're going well, maybe we'll get to the trip. Maybe, maybe we'll get to the triplets in this episode. After I, I change her outfit, maybe I can just uh, age up the triplets. But then it, it will probably be like, I probably won't change their outfits in the video. We'll, we'll see how much time we have left. Okay, so Princess May, we need to, we need to change this. So let's change her hair first. Oh my gosh, they just... She's got the most random outfits going on, guys. It is actually insane. She, her facial features, I think her nose is very similar to King Henry. I think he, she looks a little bit more like King Henry, which is weird, because like hair-wise, she had Queen Alice's hair, but like facial features, she had, she looks like King Henry, but then like, it's the opposite for Princess Amira. So that's, oh gosh, I love the genetics for like the Sims 4. Um, it's just like the way they do things is, is interesting because like in The Sims 3 all the all the Sims like siblings basically look like twins or some versions of it or something So it's a little bit different um, But so I, I went through just some of the hairs. So I mean the uh, well not not really the, I don't like how big this is though. It's like it's a lot uh, this is this was basically her hair when she was a child. I I they kind of have like natural waves, so I kind of want to keep to that a little bit. But it just doesn't seem very fancy or anything to me. There's this one, which uh well I don't know. Mm, 
There's also, there's that one, or this one, which you have bangs, maybe? This one's a little bit more out of the way. I kind of like this, actually, guys. This one is really, really cute. There's also this one, but this has more of, like, the straight hair, and they have, like, the naturally wavy hair. I mean, of course, they could style it, probably, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to think of hair that would would match them and, and look really good on them. I mean, there's there's that, there's that one. There's that one, guys! I like this one, actually. I think I... I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, I just, I just want to see some of the other options that we have. So that one's that one. Mm, not a huge fan of the side bangs on her. Like they look good on some Sims, but not like all Sims. So I think we're just gonna stick with not that one. The nope, not that one either. This one, this one. Um, and then let us. Okay, so. Uh, Princess May is more of like the tomboy for sure, um, but I mean since she's a princess she's kind of expe ex expected to dress like one, which does kind of stink, but like she just not- she doesn't need to wear a dress, she just needs to be like formal enough and- and like- like uh, not, not good looking enough, um, but like just, just presentable basically is the word. So like, I mean, she can wear pants. I can actually see if I can find like a jumpsuit or something from her. Cause I think she might actually be into this maybe. Um, I think this is actually an option on here where I can pick a jumpsuit so we can see what options we have, but I need something that's still like, there's nothing really super fancy here. It also does kind of look like really grown up, but maybe if we put it together with like some, uh, maybe just like the jewelry and stuff too. I mean, there's this one. I've always been a fan of this one. It's very, it's almost like business professional sort of though. Ooh, this is, okay, this is a lot harder than I thought. Um, okay, well, let's change her shoes just so I can get an idea of what this outfit is going to all look like together. Uh, I don't know if she would wear full, oh, nope, that's not gonna work. Mm, maybe she would wear something like this. So maybe she can wear a dress, but maybe it just would be a little bit more like edgier if you know what I mean so um there I mean the boots are a little bit edgy the okay well I can't have her wear this jumpsuit because it's not the royal colors of Windenburg so we're gonna have to find something a little bit similar I'm actually gonna pick these outfits and then I will come back and show this to you guys so give me one second oh my gosh you guys that just took me like half an hour to pick all of her outfits and I still am not satisfied with this um I don't know why nothing I can find just screams like it's her and i don't i don't know i don't like that i'm not i just i'm gonna have to search for more custom content i think because i'm not too happy with any of the stuff that we have picked out for her so this is probably just temporary so this is her temporary everyday outfit for now definitely 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 we'll try to find something a little bit later because oh yeah i uh, you know what is this too girly I kind of thought of her as a tomboy, but it's so impossible to make her a tomboy and still a princess at the same time, guys. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. I wish there, there were just like more pantsuits or something that we could pick. I'm actually kind of in love with this, but I think it might be more of a Princess Amira thing. But this one is like, it's, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I just, I don't think of her style as being like that tomboy. It just, I think personality wise for her, I think just being adventurous is honestly like what makes her the tomboy just because like everything else is just like none i'm not loving it this is now this is all too plain for me this is what the other princesses used to wear like this is what queen cora and princess alice wore when they were teenagers but i like not not this sorry not that one this this is like what they wore when they were teenagers um so i I love this and it actually looks really good on her and I was trying to think of something that would be like more of like her and tomboyish but I, I honestly think this is fine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I know there's like a very hazy like description of like what exactly is like a tomboy. For me I think it's like her personality. I think that like style wise I think that it would still be similar to this because honestly guys this looks so good on her. This looks really really good on her. I love the hair and the jewelry with it too. So I'll just show you guys what I have. I'm also not a huge fan of this dress. I'm probably going to end up changing this but it was like the most ball gowny thing that I could find that was like different that we still haven't worn. I'm actually gonna have to get rid of like a lot of the custom content in here because some of it is just like it it like clips weird and it's not very smooth. Like I don't like how like how much space there is back here. I don't know. It looks a little weird to me. But I mean this was her sister's ball gown. So it's like you kinda gotta pick something. I 
Compared to our sister's ball gown, though, it's not the best. This is very... <laughs> no, this is... We're not gonna do that. Maybe... Maybe this one? It seems a little, like, too dull for me, though. Or there's that one, but it's very, like, fake. Actually, I kind of like this. But co also, compared to our sister's, though, it's not very big. And, like, something like this, I just feel like we should wait until, like, whoever's queen should wear this. I don't think it should be them. Um, then there's also this one, which I like a lot. But again, compared to her sister's, like, it's not much. This actually is really pretty, though. I'm actually liking I like this more than the other dress. We'll just keep this for now. I'll, I'll find some other stuff later on for them. I wish like something like this would come in like the purple and stuff too, but that one only comes in gold and silver. But yeah, okay, so we'll stick with this for now. I know it's not the best thing, and so sorry. I just want to show you guys what we have. Her athletic wear, her sleep wear, her party wear. Um, again, probably going to end up changing that. I just, I had a lot of trouble finding outfits for her. This is her hot weather outfit, and this is her cold weather outfit. So yeah, guys, that's Princess May. Um, that is, I, I'm actually like really loving her everyday outfit though. The other outfits, like, like not, not so much. I think I'm gonna have to do more custom content shopping. I think we're definitely gonna have to do that. I was just like, I don't, I barely have time for this stuff anymore, guys. Like, you guys were like, oh, you should download, like, this mod, and, like, oh, if you do this, like, or, like, change, like, their names or something like that. But it's just, like, finding the time to do it is so difficult for me. So there just needs to be some days where I need to sit down, get stuff done, and do all of that. Okay, so that, oh my gosh, guys, took forever. This video, I know probably isn't that long, but like recording wise, it's gone on so long just because I was trying to figure all that stuff out. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, yeah, change Prince Johan's outfit. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'll probably end up changing it later too, but at least like his hair and stuff I need to change. Probably not going to get to aging up the triplets in this episode, but um, well, we can definitely do that for the... Well, actually, can we age them up in this episode? Maybe we can. I'm not spending too much time on Prince Johan. I just want... I'll probably just end up picking, like, a stylized outfit for now. I just want to pick his hair, at least. He... Who does he look like to me? He reminds me of some celebrity, and I cannot think of who. Oh, gosh, though. No, his eyebrows are way too thin. No, they, I was like, what is, something's off and I couldn't tell what it was, but it's, it's for sure. I think it was the eyebrows. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge, it's hard to find eyebrows that look good on people. Like not just guys, like girls too for, for Sims. It's like really difficult because some of these are like way, way too thick. And then you're just like, what in the world is happening? Like, why are they like squiggly all like that? I don't understand. This one might be a little bit too neat. Uh, oh, but then we also have like these. Ugh, that's way too bushy. That's too much. <gasps> why is this so hard, guys? This should not be this difficult. It's like literally eyebrows. Like why? <laughs> I know some people are probably saying like eyebrows. They are. Oh my gosh, no. Um, eyebrows are important though. They really are. It's just like, ugh, why is it so hard to find something right now? What is happening? Oh my gosh. What? Does, any, does anyone have like default eyelashes that they, or eyebrows that they use? I need to really download some more male eyelashes. Or, I, oh my god, why do I keep saying eyelashes? Eyebrows. I think this one's my favorite. It's not the best, but you know what? It'll do for just now. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, so hair-wise, I just want to pick his hair. Something that would, ooh. Hey, guys. What do we think of this? Who? I feel like, I feel like someone else that, like, I don't know if it's a prince. It can't be a prince because none of our princes. He's the first prince that's a teenager. Um, but some noble child, I think I like just put him in this outfit or something like that. I'm trying to think of who it was, but I cannot at the moment, which is fine. Um, so this, yeah, you know what? We're just going to stick with this for now. This will be, I'll change Prince Johan's outfit later on. But I like this, guys. What does he want? He must be a world famous celebrity. Uh, okay. So he, he kind of likes the spot. Hey! If he likes the spotlight, guys, maybe he is good for Princess Amira. Hmm, that's a thought. That's a really good thought. He might be similar personality-wise to Princess Amira. Oh, he looks like his mother. That's what I was thinking. I was like, who does he look like? I thought he looked like a celebrity. And maybe he does, but he looks like his mother. Like, that is no doubt about it. I was just like, why does he look so familiar? Um, but yeah, so that's Prince Johan, guys. That's all I wanted to do for his outfit. Um, and I think we do have time to age up the triplets. I know I didn't want them to age up all at the same time, like all within the same day though, but I think 
did so I think it'll be okay. We're like kind of like not really follow. Oh wait, why did Prince James lose a celebrity level? Shoot. Okay. Um oh well. Oh shoot. We're we're already on like like we've switched over to the family of of Brindleton Bay now. And apparently his parents weren't here. I thought they were here, but I guess not. Um so he needs to be at least a proper celebrity because I feel like the princes and princesses are definitely proper celebrities. So he is a proper celebrity now. And then I guess we just need to, oh no, like literally everybody left though. What happened? It was like, like everyone was still there when we got back from create a sim from Princess May, but for Prince Johan, not so much. So I don't know where everybody went. Um, they all disappeared. It is, it is almost Monday. So you know what? You know what? Maybe we can age up the royal family of Willow Creek. Oh my gosh, I'm having some. Tr I'm I'm debating though, guys. I don't know. Uh, you know what? No, I think we're actually gonna end this episode here. Sorry. Okay, we will age up the royal family of Willow Creek, the triplets, in the next episode. So we'll get to focus on them, and then I think Princess Naya is she around the same age? She might be a little bit younger than them. So I think they've still got some time before they age up. But uh, we can also have Princess Amira like start her own club, and we can also ha like see kind of more who's going to be a good fit for Prince Johan, um, or who's going to end up with like Princess Belle. I don't think. Personality-wise, I feel like Princess Belle should also end up with someone really good and sweet. So, I mean, maybe Prince Johan's sweet too, but he's a little bit more self-involved, which is what Princess Amira is. Um, so, I think they might be a better match. So, we'll just have to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to turn on your notifications, and we will see you guys in the next episode.